No one knows if or when exactly it will happen, but it's possible the 23 jurors could decide whether to indict Donald Trump over alleged hush money payments to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. We have a lot to talk about, so let's bring in our panel. We have with us Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, also former Trump campaign advisor David Urban, our new friend, columnist Lynette Lopez, resident attorney Jennifer Rogers and pollster Frank Lentz joins us because he just wrapped up a focus group with Republican voters today. Frank, tell us the headlines. Tell us what they're thinking about former President Trump and about the possible indictment of him. So I want to be clear about this. If the president is indicted, his numbers will go up among Republicans, that they feel that he's the victim of a partisan attack. They will feel that he's being unfairly treated and they are more likely to rally around him than to abandon him. We saw the same thing in Mar-a-Lago a few months ago, and I don't think that his opponents really grasp the idea that Donald Trump is the best victim in politics that I've ever seen in the 35 years that I've been working. That's number one. Number two is that Governor DeSantis is a legitimate opponent of his, and what really matters, the states that really matter for all of this, Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina and Nevada. I don't care what the national numbers show. I only care what these four states show because that's what kicks it off. And third, and I hate to say this and it's wrong, but in the end, perception is reality. It doesn't matter what the president did. It doesn't really matter what he said. It's what we think he did and what we think he said that matters. And there's a segment as as uh, David will, I'm sure, confirm, there's a segment of the Republican Party, perhaps a third, that is prepared to believe whatever Donald Trump says and agree with it, whatever he does. So do not expect the collapse of his candidacy if he's invited, it, indicted. In fact, expect his support to grow. And Frank, just let me dive into that a little bit sooner, I mean, a little bit deeper, which is, do they draw any distinction between an indictment for, say, the hush money payment to Stormy Daniels or the classified documents at Mar-a-Lago or the what's going on in Georgia with the finding extra votes? Or is it all sort of the same to the voters that you spoke to? It's all the same. It, it all equals the same. And it's one of the reasons why Trump has been so buoyant. Now, I want to make this also clear. He has collapsed among independents, and he's nowhere among Democrats. So at the very moment that he is more likely than he was a few months ago to win the Republican nomination, he's actually less likely than he was a few months ago to be eventually elected president. Among his base, he can do no wrong. Among his opponents, he can do no right. And among the people in the middle, they're starting to wonder, have we had enough of this? They appreciate his presidency, they appreciate his leadership, but they, frankly, they want him to go away.